Hello and welcome to the dungeon. My name is Dan and today we're playing Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. This is a fun little action adventure title by LucasArts way back from 2003 and since we have a new movie coming out in two weeks I thought I'd give it a try. And I've played this game before and I really quite enjoy it. So how does it fall into Star Wars canon? Well, since Disney Death Starred the expended, Extended Universe a few years ago, it doesn't. But that's alright, we can go ahead with our fan fiction of a game. So, it takes place after Episode 6. Luke Skywalker is now the Master Jedi of his new temple. This is all pre-Episode 7, so we have no idea if they even thought it might relate to this, but I would sincerely doubt it. Anyway, you are a fledgling Jedi, a Padawan, and you're learning to use the Force. You've already built your lightsaber, which is pretty cool, and you are under the instruction of Kyle Katam, who's already a Jedi Knight and a cool badass in his own right. So before I get into an actual mission, what I'll do is quickly show you character creation, because it's quite extensive, actually. Let's go... It doesn't really matter, let's go Jedi. So, this is my character. I am a Twi'lek female, because why not? But there are a bunch of others. We've got a Zabrak there with the horns. We've got various humans and all kinds of different heads and torsos to choose from. Colors too. We've got a Keldor male. Handsome looking guy. We've got this dude, the antennas, and all sorts of combinations. Now this isn't really an RPG, so there aren't any stats, and they don't really, I say they, NPCs don't really treat you differently depending on your species or your sex, but it's still a cool feature that they included. Oh, actually, one last thing is these lightsabers. You can customize your starting lightsaber, including the hilt. I'm by no means a Star Wars expert, so I can't tell you the differences of these different hilts, but they look cool. As well as that, you can change the color as well. Although you can't be red, because red is a Sith color. And although you can learn some of the Sith abilities, the Red lightsaber is off limits, I'm afraid, but no worries. Okay, what I'll do is I'll load up an old game of mine and take it from there. T1 Surprise, sounds great. Currently, I'm on Tatooine. In fact, let me let him explain. Tracks. Maybe they've already come and gone. Go see if you can find their sand crawler. They might have stopped in that canyon. I'll talk to the moisture farmers, see if they know anything about this cult. All right. Don't worry, Jawas are pretty friendly. Just a bit of backstory, this mission is very much at the start of the game, and all you've seen so far is your shuttle going to the temple, being shot down, and some mysterious people talking about various conspiracies. You've gone to Tatooine because there are some moisture farmers there, who have given you some intel, but you have to find their droid first. So, let's get into it. Yes, this is a game from 2003, and unfortunately it looks it. But if you can get past it, like I have, it's actually not a bad title. Okay, lightsaber time. Okay, why aren't I hitting things? And he's dead. Okay, my lightsaber is not swinging. Let's go to controls. Where is a tack? That'll do. 
yep, we're all sorted. So yes, there are a bunch of sand people around. And we don't like sand people because they are coarse and rough and they get everywhere. Oh, here's some more. I do like the uh, lightsaber action. I mean, effectively I'm pressing one button and swinging. But there's a lot of skill in terms of how to swing and where and Definitely a lot of depth to it than what first appears. Okay, so that's them gone. Here comes some more. Let's use this. Now these levels are quite large and extensive. To the extent that in one level you actually lose using a land speeder and just zipping around before coming off to do things on foot. Okay, one thing to mention as well is I'm shooting him and he only responds when he's dead or about to die. It would be nice if they had done some more animations just to show that your weapons are having an effect. Now is this a door that I can access? Maybe? Yes! Okay, rapid fire. Trying to get my, uh, here we go. Yep, throwing the lightsaber is awesome, as you can see. Now, you can take off arms, which is very Star Warsy, but actual decapitations, I'm afraid, do not come in this game. Which I think they missed opportunity. Okay, I think I need to do some healing before I go into the next area. So let's do that. Now these kind of powers are all based on the force. And like a lot of powers in games, you can recharge them. Other powers include this, which is my force sense. So I can detect creatures and traps secret entrances, that kind of thing. And also, for speed, so I can outrun creatures. I think I hit an explosive barrel, so I could do with some more healing. So let's do that. I'm playing on Jedi Knight difficulty, which is effectively hard. So it's not one you can just run into willy-nilly and just cause lots of damage without taking damage. This game will hurt you if you allow it to. See that anything I can get? Yep. Shields are very important as well. They keep you alive. Now another cool thing you might see in this video is that the lightsaber can actually deflect energy shots made at you which is really handy. You can actually deflect shots back towards the enemy and do damage that way. I missed that guy there. Let's blaster him. Like a lot of shooters, I can crouch as well should I wish to, but Generally, I don't think it's particularly worth it. Okay, let's see if I can get some stuff. I will take the med pack. Very important. Anything here? Ooh, secret area. Three people had a better day. Cool. Can't go that way. Fair enough. So yes, there are a lot of things to find if you take the time to look. There are also a lot of 
in jokes in this title, such as Kyle Katam referring to this mission as a blue milk run in terms of difficulty. Oh, come on! Get up! There we go. Ooh, bowcaster. Let's try this. Oh, headshot. Great. Now, in terms of enemy variety, there is a whole bunch in this game. It's not just sand people and stormtroopers. You've got various creatures. You've got various scum and villainy. I think I shot him, but he's not responding. Now he is. Droids. In one mission, you have to fight the... Not the Salak, no. It, what's the big giant... The Rancor. you got to fight the Rancor. In fact, it might be two. And one, you have to try and save people from the Rancor. So there's a lot of variety in terms of missions in this game. It's not just a case of go there and find X, or go here and kill whoever. There is a lot of mileage here. So I play through, let me get my lightsaber. My first playthrough took me 19 hours, and that was on the normal difficulty. So playing for yourself can take anywhere between 15 to 20, maybe even less or more, depending on your playstyle. And you do get a lot of cool force powers. Let me try and show you some more. When I get a chance, anything back here? No. Let's see this. Oh, didn't work. See? Deflection. Try this. Nah. Okay, I need to concentrate now. In fact, I think it's time for the thermal detonator. What is this blasted droid? Okay, let's do some more healing. Sorry, it's my lightsaber. I was wondering, what's that noise? Huh. Nothing's happening. Okay. I know in Battlefront 2, the original, they will actually give you ammunition or health. Let's heal quickly. Other great force powers include force lightning, which is fantastic. Uh, being able to fool people, like Obi-Wan. And all kinds of good stuff. In fact, let's, let me show you the full list. So sensing, speed, absorbing Jedi power. Ah, <laughs> choke grip, dark rage, lots of fun stuff there. Resume. So, in terms of feeling like a Jedi and learning these skills, this game does that very well, I'd say. Not quite an RPG, so not quite on the scale of Knights of the Old Republic. But then again, it sacrifices a lot of that in-depthness for fun, cool gameplay. Lots of pew pews. And they're down. Oh, I see him up there. Black Sea Freepio. No, it isn't. As I said, a lot of gags and in-jokes. 
So there's my next destination. Oh, what's up here? Anything nice? Oh, if I wanted to, and I do, I can do this. Take that, 3PO. You can save whenever you want to, but also it will do checkpoint saves as well, so bear that in mind. Okay, can I thermal detonate them? Yes, I can. Bit more healing. And I'm feeling better. As I said, it's not a game where you can just mindlessly switch yourself off and hope for the best. You have to really focus on what you're doing sometimes. Do you see what I mean? He's standing right there. Okay, that one killed him off, but prior to that, he just was not reacting. Same as him. <laughs> He's just holding a little spear up, but he can't do anything. Maybe he was caught on the uh, the 3D models, maybe. Yeah, 9 health. Not great. But I do like the variation. Obviously not in this map, it's all sand people. But in terms of aliens and bad guys, plenty in this game. Bowcaster. I'm also happy to say there are no loot boxes in this title either, nor any microtransactions. Ah, Jawas. Ah, the fan crawler. Are these even the right Jawas? It does sound very much like a Star Wars title. You cannot fault it for that. Well, you can actually, because they didn't bring in the original actors, such as Mark Hamill and Carrie Fisher. Which is a shame. That would have been nice. But it is what it is. Looking to see if anything behind these igloos I can make use of. Not really. Anything here? No. Okay, let's get on with it. There's also somewhat of a branching narrative. Your decisions can either be of a light side or the dark side. There is a particularly annoying character who you meet off with very quickly and you can really decide what happens to him, should you wish. Yeah, what I'm doing is very un-Jedi-like, but if they didn't want me to use all these guns, they wouldn't give them to me. I wonder if I can get up there. Ah, this is where my fourth powers will come into use. Is it this one? Yeah.
any time now. Here we go. Need to get up there and take him out. Ah, I suck at this. Oh. Come on. Back to third person mode, but I like Saber away. Yeah, one thing this game doesn't give you though is a double jump, there we go, feature. And considering it's Star Wars and that's what Luke can do, somewhat of an omission I'd say. Uh, whatever that is, it's not worth the time to try and get it. Okay, let's do this. Another sand person. Maybe I'll get it now. Nope. Bit of healing. How do I get down there? Oh, the fire room. You know what? I really couldn't work out how to get down from here last time I played it. But you kinda don't need to. If I do a bit more healing. And a bit more. Don't mind taking damage, it's not that bad. Okay, good. Not too dead. Ah, fire traps. He's not gonna come and get me, he's gonna have to blast him. Okay, what I've got to do is time it so I don't get burned to death by these flamethrower things. And should I fail, it's instant death. So, uh, let's see how I do. Cool. Uh, Jawas, they're fine. Don't hurt the Jawas. Nope, wrong button. Uh, I think I might have killed a Jawa. In which case, I am very sorry. Forgive me. Standing there, doesn't he? Oh. <laughs> sorry about that. Was not paying attention. Try that again. Quite a few. Ah, so here's where I get to use my force powers. Nope, wrong one. There we go. Okay, 
Okay, I'm out of ammunition, so lightsaber action all the way. I hear the droid I was looking for. You must be the droid we were for. It doesn't look like there are any Jawas left to negotiate with. I guess you better just follow me. Oh, I will follow it. Right, I'm nearly done. Just need to take care of these sand people. And then I'll be on my way. There's another couple over here. I'm trying to get with my uh, lightsaber boomerang. There we go. And I think we're done. I was starting to get worried. Any problems? Well, not unless you count the sand people I ran into. Well, you're still in one piece, so you must have handled yourself all right. Let's get this droid back to the academy. Good work, Jaden. Kyle tells me you recovered the droid on your own. It's too bad about the Jawas. R2 will scour the droid's memory banks and see what information it turns up. Okay, very quickly, why is Luke Skywalker scowling at me? He, he looks really pissed, like really pissed. Like I feel like I've done something very, very bad. Um, hopefully he'll uh, forgive me. We've been looking into the shuttle crash and it doesn't look like laser damage or mechanical failure was responsible. It's almost as if something just tore apart the engines. Okay, so that was a mission in Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. And a lot of the missions are similar to that in terms of jumping around, looking for the next key or switch, or finding a certain character to kill or rescue. There are a few cameos. Chewie turns up in actually mercenary activity, which is quite cool. And you'll often hear C-3PO's or an imitation of him wandering around. It's a fun little Star Wars game. I say little, it took me 19 hours last time. So definitely a good bang for your buck. Obviously it's an older title now, came out in 2003 as I said, but if you don't mind the the graphics, the early 3D-ness, it's, it's quite a good experience I would say. Definitely better than Battle Force 2 by EA, but that's a story for another time. Well, if you uh, like your Star Wars, then I would highly recommend picking this up. It's probably going to be cheap as chips. If you wait until May the 4th, you'll get it for, no doubt, for pennies. And, yeah, it's good old Star Wars action. I think I will leave it here now and play some more of this later. If you like the video, then by all means give me a like. And if you want to see more, then by all means send me a sub. Alright everyone, have a good one. Signing out. Bye.